Hello guys, today we will be talking about uh, asset library in Blender. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do everything from scratch. Okay, let's start it at uh, the very beginning and to understand how to work, it's pretty easy. Okay, let's turn it on the screencast. Okay, so now you guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so basically uh, to set up a path for your asset library, you have to go to your preference. So basically it's here preferences go to to file paths and then you go to asset libraries and create a path uh, you can go to your desktop maybe path test okay. and save it don't forget to save it okay now basically I have all these categorized in my asset browser as a generators okay so I have all those generators on my link below and basically for example if I want to work with uh, house scatter I just drag and drop here and I will have my house scatter right here okay and it's easy to start to work with just to edit it and that's it okay it's easy right so let's delete it let's clean up the file okay go back to our guy here okay let's make this guy one of those asset libraries so you can see how to do this okay I will do uh, a collection you basically can turn everything into a set library, materials, an object, uh, uh, even a geometry node set up as an uh, asset library. Okay, but I'm gonna do this just as a collection, so you guys can see. Let's uh, make a test test collection. Okay, that's the collection, right? So you basically have this uh, by default. You have this all, so you have everything here that you turn into in your collect that you, you turn into in your asset library okay so it's it will really be all here very random okay but you can always create categories okay and add your libraries in, in your assets to your categories okay uh, right now what the only thing you have to do is you click with your right button inside of your collection and then mark as an asset and you see what happened and turn it into this icon here this means that now you have a collection and this collection is probably here you see this is the collection okay but you want to maybe add a nice thumbnail to this guy not this very random thumbnail so go to your camera set up here maybe 512 okay and maybe go to this in the tab let's add a world okay something like this render save this as something in your desktop or anything else doesn't really matter just go here go here on this icon on this uh, folder uh, uh, icon uh, panel and then you go choose your image and it will be automatically turn it into your image okay and uh, that's it you have this guy here as your category and then you tell okay but that's not very organized okay so let's because you save the path so that your path will be here okay path test okay you just go to your uh, your uh, you just take this guy this file and save there okay let's save as a test inside your path test okay you can save as much file as you want inside your path test so now inside your path test you have this icon here this means that you know all your library is here so you if you put all you see all everything you have in your library here including the guy but if you go to the 
pep test you have just guys because this is the file you save it there okay so now let's show you how to drag and drop and use it on your uh, your file okay let's turn this on let's start it a new file from scratch okay so now you have your file here okay and you go to your asset browser choose path test and you have that guy oh you should have that guy over there mm, okay let's try to open that guy here the path test the path test 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 test, test. Here we go, let's see, let's open the guy, let's go open the file we save it there and check it out why we don't see that because we shoot. Okay. That's inside our path test, okay? That's the collection, right? Save it here. And we go to our main file and looking for that. We're not seeing it here. Maybe we will see this guy over here. Let's look for test. Okay, this is the guy, and uh, he's not. He's inside path test. Yeah, here's the guy. Okay, he's the guy. I don't know. Maybe that was a bug. I don't know. So you drag. You issue the collection. You want to drag and drop. You have those options here. Link append append reuse data. You know, uh, link. If you bring that link it here, you will not be able to change it anything. Append is normally how we do. I just follow the preferences and then I bring it here. So it becomes a collection linked. To use this really in your scene, you just need to press Ctrl Z. So now you bring all your collection to your scene. Okay. And if for some reason you guys has deleted this here hierarchy or deleted that, you had to bring it to your scene and then you delete it and then you try to bring it again you may find a, you may find an issue let me see and you delete it here and you try to bring it again Control z you see you may find this issue okay because you bring it and you remove it but blender keeps collecting that data inside your blended fire uh, until you close your blender file and open again okay so the way you can fix this of course is uh, going to file and external data and oh cleaning up and recursive unused data blocks so now you clean up all your data blocks that you have been using again so now you just drag and drop press ctrl z and then everything works as it should okay so uh, and you can do this with materials with everything and as soon as you have that it will be there forever every time you open your blender file you would have your assets ready to use it ready to go and without any issue i hope you guys like it if you have uh, any questions just drop on the comments and subscribe the channel if you like it and let me know if you need to know something else about asset browser i think it's very straightforward okay you can save as much file as you want. I, what I, the prefer, my preference is like if I have this uh, collection here, my, my, if I have this asset here as a test, I like to have uh, one Blender file for each um, collection, let's say. Okay? If I have, uh, you don't need to have for everything, for every asset you have a Blender collection, you have a Blender file. Okay? For example, you can have inside your blender file uh, as many assets as you want okay i will show you one of those i will show you one of those examples because right now we just have inside the test one test blender file which is the collection okay but let me see let me open the this file here and uh, 
I would just add maybe a Suzanne a monkey. I will maybe take this monkey, remove from the collection, and add this mark as an asset as well. So you see, it's here. Okay, and you can save the file. It will be automatically here. Okay, so it's the same file, test file. So it doesn't change. You you you, you didn't save any other file here on your test path. It's just the same test path, but you have multiple assets inside that, set it up inside that. So you can have that. Just drag and drop and then you, you will have here. Okay? But I like to have one Blender file for each collection or category that I want to. Oh, another thing that you can do is, uh, let's say, let's see which file is that. Okay, this is the test file. You go to your original file. Okay, let's close it and uh, let's delete this guy. Let's delete this collection. We can just delete from based on the from the the main file. Okay. You can't delete from you can't delete from uh, your generic or Blender file. You have to go to the file which you have stored your collection. Then you can delete it. Okay. Clear assets, clear asset. Okay, you just remove your asset from here. Delete this, Suzanne. Okay, what I want to do is like you go to your original file, which is test. Okay, if you want to categorize that, you create a category and put here man with uh, I don't know man with floor. Okay. You have that then you save it save it okay now you have your category here the only thing you need to do is just drag your asset inside your category okay so let's say you have materials and then you create a category materials wood floor uh, this and that and then you can like see that here inside your file okay let's go to our original file let's refresh it here refresh it okay test so it's not showing here I may need to close blender don't save open again blender again okay let's go to path that's it browser let's go to path uh, path test so you see uh, man with a floor. Now you have your asset inside a man with a floor. Okay, so that's it. It's easy. I think it's easy to understand. It's straightforward. If you have any questions, drop the comments as I said. And see you in the next video.